गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू माय सेल्फ सावंत अजय कुमार भास्कर वर्किंग एज ए असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन शिवशंकर कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर इंजीनियरिंग मिराजगाव एप्लीटेड बाय महात्मा फुले कृषि विद्यापीठ राहुरे नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन द टॉपिक दैट इज फोर्स एनालिस ऑफ टेलेज टूल बिफोर स्टार्टिंग टू दिस टॉपिक वी आर जस्ट क्लियरिंग एज वेल एज अंडरस्टैंडिंग द कंसेप्ट ऑफ टेलेज देर डेफिनेशन्स How what is meant by primary tillage? What is meant by secondary tillage? And then after we are going to directly discuss on the topic that is analysis of forces. Okay. So firstly, tillage. What is meant by tillage? Mechanical manipulation of soil, which is performed in order to obtain a seed bed of desired tilth, favorable for seed emergence and crop growth. Tillage operations are generally carried out before sowing as well as planting. tillage can be classified in main two categories that is primary tillage and second one is the secondary tillage so what is meant by primary tillage what is meant by second tillage primary tillage plowing which is opening of compact soil with tools as well as implements primary tillage or plowing is opening of compacted soil as well as reduce the strain and also to cover the surface vegetation and or residue of previously grown crops with the help of different tools and implement preparatory for plow so directly we are going to the discuss now for the analysis of tillage tool and their measurement <coughs> some of the points which are concerned with that for the analysis of mount plow plow as well as the disc plow the engineers concerned with the forces acting on tillage implement because of total power requirement that is total power requirement of you take the example of mould board plow disc plow as well as rotavator as well as tandem disc plow okay proper hitching or application of pulling force designing of adequate strain and rigidity to determine the best shape and adjustment of tools okay a tillage implement or tool moving at a constant velocity is subjected to three main forces which are must be in equilibrium which are these forces number first is force of gravity upon the implement the soil force acting upon the implement and the third one is the forces acting upon the implement and the prime mover see here biogen diagrammatical i have shown the horizontal force vertical force which are these three forces acted firstly p pull exerted by power unit see here has component in all major planes and associated with its couple r see here this one is the resultant force this total section is called as the mould board this total section is mould board we are resolve this forces this one is the resultant of all useful forces acting upon tool or implement let us resolve the forces in three component that is l yes and v l is nothing but as c this one is the horizontal component this horizontal component is also called as draft next one is the vertical component vertical component it removes load from the front wheel of tractor and effect on tractive ability of tractor that is stability stability it helps in penetration and maintains working depth at the time of working see here this one is the side force as well as side drop of force maintain directional stability that means these three forces are to become very important that is horizontal component l vertical component v and side force as well as drop that is s so <coughs> now we will write down the equation that is vertical horizontal force vertical force and side force l is equal to r multiplied by r is nothing but as a r into cos theta Into cos p multiplied by 
आर साइन थीटा इंटू कॉस एस इज इक्वल टू आर इंटू कॉस थीटा इंटू साइन हेयर हेयर दैट इज सी हेयर दिस वन एंड दिस वन लाइन दिस वन इज द हॉरिजेंटल लाइन दैट इज एल हेयर इज वी है द इक्वेशन एल इज इक्वल टू आर इंटू कॉस थीटा इंटू कॉस ओके दिस वन इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ वर्टिकल लाइन दैट इज वी इज इक्वल टू आर इंटू कॉस फाइव इंटू साइन थीटा देन अगेन वी हैव गिवन द इक्वेशन फॉर द साइड फोर्स एज वेल साइड ड्राफ्ट इज आर इंटू कॉस थीटा इंटू साइन सो नाउ वी विल नो दी थीटा थीटा इज एंगल ऑफ इनकुलेशन सी आर दिस वन इज द एंगल ऑफ इनकुलेशन विच इज एंगल मेड बिटवीन दी आर कॉस फाइव एंड आर कॉस थीटा दिस वन इज टोटल सेक्शन ओके थीटा इज द एंगल ऑफ इनकुलेशन ऑफ आर इन वर्टिकल प्लेन विथ होरिजेंटल एंगल ऑफ इनकुलेशन ऑफ आर इन ट्रांसफर प्लेन विथ होरिजेंटल फॉर माउंटेड इम्प्लीमेंट सपोर्टेड एंड पुल्ड बाय ट्रैक्टर दिस फोर्स पी बिटवीन इम्प्लीमेंट एंड ट्रैक्टर इन वर्टिकल प्लेन इज फोर्स कंटेनिंग यल that is horizontal force and v that is vertical component p is equal to square root of l square that is horizontal component square plus v square that is vertical component square see here i will show you by the pointer how this equation will be <coughs> will modify in just previous slide we have seen the value of l that is r r into cos theta into cos okay so put this value in that uh, equation that is p is equal to square root of l square plus v square so we will get the value that is in square root of r square into cos square theta into cos square okay plus so also we have know the value of vertical component that is v is equal to r square into sin square theta into cos square okay so further we will be modified this equation so we will get the equation that is square root of r square into cos square theta in bracket we will withdraw the common that is r square into cos square theta in bracket remaining value that is cos square theta plus sin square theta so further we are modifying this equation so you will get the final equation that is r into cos okay this all is going to related to the force analysis of mount board plow in that uh, <coughs> equation as well as in that study point uh, topic we have seen the major three component that is force analysis so vertical force horizontal force and side force so how this angle is made between vertical as well as horizontal plane what is this angle what is mean by theta what is mean by phi and how this equation will be modified to will get the final value what is the final value we will get the pull which is r into cos okay thank you friend